And now former House Speaker Newt Gingrich talks about this past week's votes in the House and Senate on the non-binding Iraq War resolution. He spoke after an appearance on Fox News Sunday. What you're seeing is petty politics in the Senate at its, uh, I think, most childish. Uh, the Democrats want to maneuver to get a vote that will embarrass President Bush. The Republicans want to maneuver to get a vote that will embarrass the Democrats. Uh, the fact is that uh, foreign policy and matters of war ought to be more than just partisan maneuvering. I think there's something, there's something wrong with how we have structured this whole experience. In the House side, what's troubling is that Speaker Pelosi and Chairman Murtha have indicated very clearly that they intend to follow a strategy of systematically undermining President Bush with a series of votes and a series of each one crippling a little bit our ability to wage war. Uh, I think if the Democrats want to cut off money for the war, they should, they should go straight for it. Uh, Senator Clinton said the other day, if there was a Democratic president, we would not be in the war. Well, there's a Democratic Congress. If they want to move to cut out all funding, that's one thing. And then you just sell, tell the troops come home. But this idea that we're going to stay in Iraq, but inch by inch have death by a thousand congressional cuts, I think is very dangerous for the country. So what do you think the tone will be as we move to the actual debate on funding? Worse. I mean, I, I think we're, there's something almost childish about what we're doing. The world is bigger than Washington. And we're having this debate as though this is about George W. Bush's personality, or this is about do you hate Bush or do you love Bush? There's a real world out there. There's a world out there of people who say they want to kill us. And they're very open about the fact they want to kill us. And we need to somehow talk about America's future and talk about what America needs to do to win this war with terrorists and not have the whole thing come down to this tiny question of partisan maneuvering in Washington. Um, are there any restrictions on Iraq spending that you would be willing to support? No, I think we should either try to win the war or get out. But the idea of, of crippling the war just strikes me as, as, as very bad for America. Not very bad for George W. Bush. Very bad for America. Republicans who sided with the Democrats this week. Well, again, I'm, ver I'm very disappointed because uh, they're in a situation where they're in effect saying, we want to help the Democrats bring up only the resolution that embarrasses President Bush. We do not want to bring up any resolution that embarrasses the Democrats. So let's have a one-sided debate. You know, and, and I think that's wrong. I think if, if the Democrats want to debate the war, then make everything in order. And what are they afraid of voting on? Why, why are they afraid of voting on the Republican resolution? Uh, didn't the two votes prove that there is no veto-proof majority uh, for any Absolutely. restrictions? Well, here's the problem. And the, the, the one veto-proof majority is if you cut off funding, because the president can't force funding. And that's why the Constitution is very clear. The Congress has enormous power if it's prepared to take on the responsibility. But then the Congress would be saying, put on our shoulders, we're making a decision here. We're cutting off the money. We, they did that in 1975. It happened to be a disaster. It destroyed South Vietnam. It led two million Cambodians being slaughtered. It led a million South Vietnamese being put in labor camps. It led almost a million South Vietnamese to flee as boat people. But nonetheless, the Congress took the responsibility. What you're getting now is the worst of all worlds. You have an irresponsible Congress trying to cripple the American effort without taking the responsibility for ending the American effort. If they're not going to end it, they ought to fund it, hope the president can succeed. Because I, I would hope that they would agree that an American victory, even if it made George W. Bush look good, would be better than an American defeat. Okay, thank you all. Senator Dick Lugar, ranking Republican on the Foreign Relations Committee, talks about yesterday's vote in the